right, guys. Today, um, we, since we've finished reading our story, Monsters Love School, now we're going to create our own monsters. And we're going to do so using an organic shape. And that's a made-up shape, a pretend shape that we make up in our heads. So here's an example of a square. A square is a geometric shape. We are going to use a shape that doesn't really have a name because we made it up. It's a pretend shape. So you're going to get a piece of paper and a string to make your organic shape. So you're going to take your string and you're going to put it on your paper and you're going to so you're going to take your string and you're going to kind of push it around until you get the crazy organic shape that you like. So it's Organic shape is usually kind of curvy, it's pretend, it doesn't have a name, like squares and circles and triangles do. So let's see. Mm, so you get it the way you like it. Pull off my paper. Ooh, I kind of like that one. So then I take my crown and I'm going to follow my organic shape. I'm not going to let it move and I'm going to take my crown and right on the outside I'm gonna follow that line. I can't get too close to it because then it's gonna mess up my, uh-oh, it touched the string. So I might have to hold my fingers a little bit with my string, hold my string a little bit with my fingers. So I'm going right around the outside of the string and I keep following it. Ooh, screwed it over a little bit. Follow, I have to be right next to my string but I'm not touching it. Woo! Check that out. Then I lift up my string and I have my crazy organic shape for my monster. Before we add our line pattern to our monster, we want to give our monster some arms and legs. No eyes or nose or face yet because we're going to add those later with cut paper. So I'm going to say I'm going to put some legs on my monster and I'm just going to make his legs go like this with some feet on it. Here's one, and then I'm going to make this one kind of curve out, and then I want to put some arms on him. So, and I'm going to put points at the end so it looks like he has claws. And I come down and touch. Remember when we made our portraits, we, we made our arms and legs out of rectangles. So you kind of like you're making a rectangle. I'm curving it a little bit. And I'm gonna do some claws on it. All right, but you don't have to do that. It's your monster. You can make up any kind of shapes you want on your monster for their arms and their legs. I'm gonna take a construction paper crayon and I am going to decide what kind of line I want to have on my what kind of lines I want to have on my monster. So I could do zigzags on my monster. I could do hilly lines on my monster that go up or I can make my hills go down like this. I could do lines that sort of like dashes, a dashed line. Hmm, what's another kind of line I can do? I could do some diagonal lines where they just, my monster has regular stripes. I could do some horizontal lines. I could do some, instead of doing lines, I could decide I want a certain kind of pattern on my monster. So I could do some polka dots on my monster. I could do some, let's see, almost like you're gonna make the letter C, but you keep curving it in. So I could do some swirly patterns on my monster. Okay, so you're gonna decide what kind of line pattern or what kind of just design pattern, shape pattern you want on your monster. Now, all right, so let's see. I think I'm gonna make the stomach of my monster look like the monster in the stories. I like those curvy lines that the monsters had on them. So I'm going to take 
crayon. I think I'll use green this time. And I'm going to do some curvy lines all the way across. I keep going down and up, down and up. I'm going to start another row, down and up, down and up, down and up. And I'm just repeating. Notice I'm pressing really hard. I want my crayon to show up really bright. So I keep curving them. All right, I like that. All right, I think for my arms, let's see, I'm gonna change colors for my arms, and I'm gonna use this bright orange, and I'm gonna just do some stripes on my arms. So these are kind of diagonal lines, and notice I'm going back and forth so that my stripes are really dark. I'm coloring up and down on them. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I like my diagonal lines. Oops, I went out of the line just a little bit, but that's okay. Up and down, up and down. There we go. And let's see, I think I'm going to do the same thing on the legs. Diagonal lines, up and down. I'm going back and forth so I can make my stripes really bright. All right, now let's see. I think I'm gonna add some polka dots to his head. So I'm gonna notice I'm coloring in a circle and I'm coloring in my polka dots really bright. And I have to keep repeating because I wanna fill up all this space. ready to go. Remember, no eyes, no mouth yet. We're going to add those in later. Okay, so now that you have your line pattern and your other kind of shape pattern on your monster, now you're ready to paint your monster. And you're going to paint right over top of your crayon because the crayon has oil in it and that helps to resist the paint. So you might have one or two choices of paint color on your um, table to use. I'm going to go with orange. I'm going to dip my brush in and then I'm going to give it one wipe on the edge because that's going to keep it from dripping. And then I'm going to start painting right over top. I'm going to go right to the edge, be really careful, I'm trying to stay in the lines. And then when it stops working, I'm going to dip it back in, one wipe on the edge, and I'm going to go right over top. Look how cool that is. It doesn't go on top of the crayon it resisted. I'm being really careful to try to stay inside the lines of my organic shape. And then I start filling it in. Really careful. The paint just kind of bubbles up right on top of that crayon. And I'm filling it in. Oh, I like this orange monster. Right along the line. Notice I take my brush right along the edge. Right along the edge. I can even do the whole edge first if I want. Because that might help me stay in the lines. Take your brush really slowly. Really careful. And if it goes out a little bit, that's okay. going to, first we're going to add an eye to our monster. 
Now, you're going to get a square, but it's going to have some lines drawn on it. See how there's curved lines drawn on each corner? Because if you take a square, which is a geometric shape, and you cut off the corners, it turns into a... Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm going to cut right on those lines. So I'm going to cut the corners off of my square. If I cut all the corners, notice I'm turning my square as I cut it. So when I cut my corners off my square, it turns into a circle, which is a geometric shape. Now I need to decide if I want to have two big eyeballs on my monster or if I just want one eye, because some monsters have just one eye. On this one, you can see I gave him one eye, and I kind of like that, so I'm just going to give him one eye as well. But if you decide you want your monster to have two eyes, then you get another square, and you cut the corners off, and it turns into a circle. All right, so once I have my decision made on how many eyes I want, I just want one, I'm going to take my, my circle that I, my square that I turned into a circle, I'm going to rub some glue on the back by going right around those edges. Put a couple stripes in the middle, then I'm going to stick it right in the center. Since he only has one eye, his eye is going to go right in the middle. Okay, so once you get, your, everybody's going to get a little black circle. That's the pupil. We all have that little black circle inside of our eye called our pupil. And you can decide, put it right in the center, you can move it down, you can make him looking up, wherever you want him to be looking. So I'm going to put this one down a little bit. So he's looking down. This one, it's right in the center. So he's looking straight at you, but he's looking down a little bit. So now he needs a mouth. So you're gonna get a rectangle, which is another geometric shape. And notice there's lines drawn on the corner. So let's see what happens when we turn, when we cut the edges off of our rectangle. We follow the lines that are drawn for us. We have to turn our paper just a little bit as we follow the lines. Turning, turning, turning. And what happens when you cut the corners off of a rectangle? It turns into an oval. That's right. All right, so now I'm going to give him a mouth. So I'm going to take my glue. Again, remember when you twist up your glue, you make sure it's just peaking just a little bit. And I like to go all around the edge of my shape. And I put some in the center, twist my glue back down. Put the top on, and his mouth is ready. Check him out. Now he needs some teeth. For your teeth, everybody's gonna get a white strip of paper, shape of a rectangle. You have two choices. If you cut straight lines off of your rectangle, you can give your monster some straight teeth, rectangle shaped teeth. And you can decide however many you want and you can just give him some straight rectangle teeth. Huh, I like him. All right, or you can take your rectangle and watch what happens. You can take a rectangle and you can curve, turn your scissors at an angle, a diagonal, curve it this way, and then watch what happens. If I come and I curve my scissors right up to that point where I left off, Notice I'm cutting triangles and I'm going to curve them again. I keep going diagonal. Diagonal this way, diagonal this way, diagonal this way, diagonal this way. And if I do my scissors and diagonals, then I'm going to get triangle shaped teeth. So you decide if you like the rectangle teeth, then you're going to cut, use your scissors and cut in straight lines. Or if you like the triangle teeth, which are kind of pointed teeth, if you want them to look a little scarier, then you are going to turn your scissors diagonal. So you decide what kind of teeth you want. You might remember this from last year. You don't need to open it. You don't need to twist it. Nothing like that. You just shake it down, get the glue down to the bottom, and watch what you're going to do. You're going to get a few pieces of string for his hair. Oh, I like him. He's going to have green hair. And all you're going to do is dot some lines. So if you push down, glue comes out. And if it's not working, raise your hand, but you kind of have to push it a few times. Oh, I see it. And I'm gonna do a straight line of glue this way. I give each one about four dots, right in a line. It's kind of like you're lining up for lunch and you go right next to each other. So a dot here, dot here, three and four. And I'm gonna make mm, one more line of glue, dot, 
put that, all I'm doing is pushing down. I don't even need to squeeze it. I just push down. So I have four lines of glue and I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna put them right on the dots of glue that I can see. So I made a line here. I lay them right across those dots. Then I do my next line of glue. I lay my string right on top of those dots. And another one. And the last one. All right, now he's got some hair. He looks fabulous. All right, I can't wait to see what your monsters look like. Let's get started.